dragon guys turns out I screwed up so we have now a, a 8 minute video combined with this video so I should just kept recording okay Churchill come on can't be serious completely crushed from all sides so uh, how this AI is programmed to not capitulate it just amazes me I've been playing this game for a week now, so I, I don't actually remember uh, what we were uh, starting to do. And here it is. Well, that's a complete capitulation. And we basically conquered the entire world. 1505. Uh, so that's really nice. Well, that's really nice. So uh, let's just get everything uh, where it's supposed to be. Then we have all the trades we can do. We get railroads in one turn. Just need to look back. Actually, let's just settle this guy for a stun. Well, well, it's been a really nice game, and this is, uh, yeah, I think I improved my gameplay quite a bit, actually. Posted some DK plays uh, earlier, but uh, this has probably been my best D2 win so far. Yeah, sure. There's the conquest. That's really nice. Nice, and I'm looking forward to this. So let's see, we are situated uh, over here. Oh yeah, they were really squeezed on land, these guys. These two guys had big lands. Oh yeah, okay. So let's just, the beginning, we found out that Pakal was pretty close. So he settled towards us, and we used the creative ability to steal the horse belt. That was huge. And uh, from then on, we basically capitulated Pakal really quickly. We attacked him. Uh, yeah, we attacked him. There we go. We attacked him in uh, 350 before Christ. And uh, we quickly took out his cities. And then we went to Gilgamesh. So that was a really quick capitulation. I think that was as is one of the fastest uh, capitulation I ever done on my AI of on Dita, not on uh, Immortal as well. So that was really nice, um, and also Gilgamesh. They really helped teching and producing units. The little like units they like. Uh, just got into the enemy lands, they soak up so much damage, they damage his units and all that stuff, so from then on, 
Peter, Lancome and uh, Charlie. They went really quickly. So I think we put ourselves in a really strong position with the Elephant Rush on Pakal and uh, Gilgamesh. Which were kind of boxed in against two super protective guys. Then we went for Peter because we made Peter and Rancom war the entire game. I think that's uh, like the second big thing that made us so successful. We took out Peter pretty easily. And Rancon was just a little bit worse to take out because we had a long, uh, s uh, long way to support um, to um, um, like reinforce our stacks. But he, he was doomed. But it was just how quick we could take him, and I really wanted that M O M. But okay. And then we focused our <laughs> insanely large military production. On Charlie, which well, we could have probably attacked him much much sooner, and used uh, these guys built up troops. But okay. And Charlie just fell quickly, and then Churchill also fell quickly. So yeah, that was. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> look at this. The text is uh, in the cities. So we got. Did we get any wonders? didn't build any wonders ourselves. We got the Apostolic Palace religion and we actually was leading the election the entire game. So we might have gone for some kind of religious victory but I haven't really done that. And the rest of the wonders we just stole from the AI. So let's see how many units did we make. Killed off about 200. Yeah, I'd say we killed about 300 units this game, and we built uh, and we built about 250. So that's yeah, ton of catapults, ton of uh, night, ton of. Trebuchets, catapults and cannons, they basically just carried us the entire game. But okay, and a pretty okay score I guess. Yeah. That was, it's our top score so that's a pretty good story. <laughs> I haven't really, I don't really know much about these score things. But yeah, that's a pretty nice uh, DT victory. I'll see if I can't upload this game straight away. Uh, if you like this, if you liked what you watched, just give me a recommendation about any other cool stuff you want to see. I think I'll try another game on DT, but it takes making a DT game takes about three times as uh, as long time as making an immortal game. Because playing on immortal, you can. I feel like I almost can just breeze through the game in a fun way. But DT, it's just. Uh, you have to find a map, you have to find a leader, you have to kind of practice the leader a little bit as well. So, yeah. If you want more content, <laughs> go for Immortal Games. If you want uh, DT games, it's going to be a little bit less, but yeah. But, anyways. Thanks for watching this uh, game and uh, wish you a nice day and I see you soon.